Burning less fossil fuels has long been a primary goal in responding to humanity's energy needs. Now researchers at the University of Arizona are using a new resource in developing biofuels, algae. The reality is we have the technology to be able to successfully produce biofuels from algae. Uh, that's not the problem. The problem is coming up with a technology or a set of technologies that would accomplish that in an economical manner. Now, we're very interested in algae because, uh, number one, it's a renewable energy uh, feedstock. And second is, it's non-food. At least uh, most people do not eat the types of algae that we're growing. And so there's no conflict here between uh, food and uh, algae. And also, uh, one really uh, big advantage of algae is that they can be grown in photobioreactors. A uh, photobioreactor is just a fancy name for a vessel or a container. So what we're trying to do here is to develop a system that tightly controls the algae, has high productivity, while at the same time is inexpensive and is made out of common materials that, uh, that you, can, you can get your hands on uh, pretty cheap and that you can then use a lot of them and develop you know, acres and acres of systems like this in order to get a really high productivity of algae and to be something that you truly could use for fuel production. Uh, the accordion photobioreactor is a photobioreactor configuration that we developed here and we designed here in my lab at the University of Arizona. Uh, it's called accordion because it is suggestive of the geometry or the configuration of the uh, musical instrument accordion. But uh, what it is, is it's a series of flat plate uh, reactors. and. Uh, Essentially, the uh, algae in the nutrient solution is being recirculated through these uh, flat plates at different angles. The uh, key characteristics of the accordion photobioreactor is the use of the transparent materials here. Uh, as you can see, we're using some transparent plastic, which allows sunlight to penetrate into the, into the fluid. Uh, the sunlight interacts with the algae, uh, leads to photosynthesis. That's what causes the algae to grow. That's the energy source we're using to get growth from the algae. And that's where the energy comes from that we then are able to turn into biofuel. Another critical aspect of the reactor that we're able to provide is the, the mixing of the fluid. The fluid flowing from one compartment into the next uh, generates a certain amount of turbulence which mixes the algae, it keeps it in suspension, it prevents the algae from settling out or becoming stuck to the plastic, making sure that every algal cell is exposed to the same amount of light and that we're, we're dispersing the light over the entire volume of the reactor, entire volume of the fluid, and which is, that's how we efficiently use the sunlight or the light that is, that is incident on the algae. Uh, we want something that is uh, controlled in terms of the environment and so it yields uh, productive results in terms of the algae, but at the same time it's economical.